Hello, uh, come to you today with a review of The Innocence by Michael Crummy, which uh, you might be able to make out on that screen there. If not, I'll try and poke, poke you know, stick, stick a picture about where my hand is so you can see it more clearly. Uh, this is a 2019 uh, novel by Newfoundland writer Michael Crummy, uh, talking about uh, the story of, of Ada and Everett, uh, brother and sister, in uh it's probably the early 1800s there's no definite dates only ever rough dates uh growing up on a uh what i believe this is called like an outport um just just an outport establishment just of themselves just a single a single house in this cove uh growing up with uh their uh, mother and father and um through flashbacks, we see the birth of uh, their infant, their infant uh, sister uh, Martha. Um, in the uh, pretty quickly in the opening of the story, uh, um, Martha and her and their mother and their father all succumb to illness uh, and die of a, some sort some sort of unknown fever, uh, and they are left in the middle of nowhere on this cove where uh, the family has been kind of scraping by a very subsistence level of existence, uh, catching father, catching a herring, uh, drying it out. And then every six months or something, uh, a a ship would come, come by uh, commanded by a figure called the beetle uh, and would uh, in exchange for that would uh, they'd they'd have supplies to survive through to the next time that the, that the beetle sh- showed up and it was just that that continual cycle and this is all that uh that uh Ada and Everett have ever known uh and indeed uh this story is a story of only here only on this only in this one place and a story of their uh survival story of they start off like you know quite young like um like you know Everett is maybe 12 or something like that and he's the he's the older of the two uh and it's them growing up into sort of into uh seeing how far they're going to grow up I guess you can you can say there's always a kind of a question are is this going to be the time when they die because this is Newfoundland uh coast I'm assuming coast of Newfoundland where it is just so brutal it is like they are you know one mistake uh happens and you would you'd be dead you would just be dead out here and you would have no, they, they have no, no one to, um, no one to depend on. And indeed it's, it, and, but it's kind of a, it's, it's a thing of this story of why you can get the sense of how the age it's like when, um, the beetle does show up and says like, Oh, well you probably want to be, be, we'll take you somewhere and thing. And it's like, no, we want to make a go of it. We're going to stay here. And a part of that is Ada has a very strong connection with, uh, Martha this dead infant uh sister uh and uh can says, says she can kind of feel her presence here and she won't she doesn't want to leave her won't leave her and everett who's maybe a little bit more practical minded is like well we'll we'll tough it through a season and you know maybe she'll see reason after that and we can go but they they continue on there they can they continue on there uh and this is about their relationship and their relationship as they grow grow into uh, kind of early early teens, and all the hormones happen, and we go into uh, what can be only described as the very very squicky squicky area where um, you hear you hear tales of you know you know brothers and sisters who too attached to each other, and that that um, got. You know, and in something as isolated as this, become this is the only other person there. Um, that developed the a, that kind of relationship, a sexual, se- the sexual nature of their um, bodies is just driving them at a certain point. Um, in ebbs and flows, this is a book that has a lot of incident in it and a lot of modulation of you know them going from you know just not being able to stand each other anymore because it's the only people here to being you know the to to being to being um to you know to having you know just really the, the closest connection you could ever have I mean close as close as brother and sister or a husband and a wife ever, ever, ever could. Um, we learn about their family's life before the parents died. Uh, and, you know, 
it was hard scrabble, but it was a loving family, um, you know, with a, with a mother and father who did actually, who, who, who loved each other, who, you know, were tough, fierce people together. Um, in the course of the story, you actually hear, you learn more about their, the parents' story and it's almost biblical connotations, perhaps. Um, you get, um, you get encounters with, um, sort of, you know, kind of an, Eng- an English crew where they actually, oh, you, them bouncing off of like, you know, actually having other people to bounce off of and learn stuff from and like, have that get more of a conception of it being an outside world. I thought of some, some points in here, I thought of Emma Donahue's room where um, in that novel, uh, you know, it's a mother and a child trapped in a, trapped in a room by an abductor. And this the room is o- the only thing this child has ever known. And this is a story where it's two children growing up in this cove and it's all they've ever known. And it's sort of like, it's that level of, um, you know, claustrophobic, uh, nature, claustrophobic nature, intimate nature, which, uh, Michael Crummy is really great at capturing the characters' voices, their, um, perspectives on things of like, you know, this is how they think. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's it can be claustrophobic. It can be incestuous in a, in a, in a literal sense. And, um, there's through a good hunk of this book that it, it's powerful writing and it's, and it's character work did a lot to, for me because there's good hunks of this book i was like why are you telling me the story this is this is a cross between um this is a cross between uh like you know the blue lagoon and uh the lighthouse which uh you know it's young young 1980s blue lagoon with uh brook shields is just one of these super gross uh 80s exploitive movies of of young 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 uh teens um exploring the, their bodies for the t- t- titillation of of the audience uh you know in this tropical paradise um where you know uh, the lighthouse is these two farting um smelly sweaty um dudes going slowly insane in this claustrophobic kind of lighthouse uh and developing maybe kind of a weird relationship uh you know in super hard conditions the super hard conditions are indeed what's uh, happening happening in uh um is, is what's happening in uh in the in, the innocence it's, it's that kind of brutalness and it's that kind of the facts of life um so but you 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 also kind of do get that kind of like uh, why are we telling this story? Why, like, my question, to Michael Crummy, through um, parts of this, were like, yes, you're really getting me into these characters. Yes, this is really brutal environment. Uh, oh God, there was a, there's a scene where uh, they have it. There's like a hunting thing with a bear. Uh, and it's cub that that is funnily enough that 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 there almost destroyed me the most and especially it's like making that bear cub an orphan and it's like you two are orphans and it's but it's like you have to live you have to live uh in this this, you know in in this world and it's like you do not do that by by going oh cute little bear no you shoot you shoot and you feed and you live um but there's like that question of like you know why are you telling me this story now, Michael Crummy? This, this is probably why it's like actually I think I, this is really is a good novel. Is that Michael Crummy asked answered that question for me? Um, there is a ship trapped in the ice, uh, and um, horrible stuff has happened there. And there's a uh, there's um, a, a log. There's a log of that that the story's written down. Uh, the beetle. Um, the this this cat this captain or the kind of the, the 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 money man of this ship has written down all the information on uh, Ada and Everett's family uh, down to like how many kids they have you know all all their particulars and and Everett finds that kind of like disconcerting that you would have written this down about ourselves like it's it's something it's like you're putting your claws into me and I think there's you know you're making a judgment on us uh, you're weighing our worth. Um, Reading the story, um, it just had the que- the question that came up uh, was, you know, why is Michael Crummy telling me this story? I mean, I guess that's something that all authors need to answer one way or the other. Um, I mean, I, I read a lot of genre fiction where it's like, you know, 
it's to tell like, you know, a fantasy or an adventure story. It's to be, you know, a good fantasy adventure story or, or, you know, mystery is like, you know, involving mystery. And it's like, it's like, well, what is the reason why, why Michael Crummy are you telling me this story, this really unfortunate story of this brother and sister and the uh, relationship that they have, the non brother, the, 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 boundary crossing relationship of a brother and sister because it does go there um spoilers but it's like why are you telling me this story and actually i think to michael crummy's credit he manages to 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 give me the to tell me why tell me why you're reading why you're telling me this story and it's not like oh there's a message here or something it's like it's actually probably the exact opposite of the message this is a novel that is probably disquieting in its way because it is so centered on Ada and Everett's point of view and their experience uh, that it doesn't, you know, they they have their own self-judgments of, of themselves, but you don't get the sense that the novel is saying, like, you know, this is wrong because we don't need a novel to tell us that a brother and a sister having a sexual relationship is wrong. Yes, of course it is wrong. Um, but it manages... To, to to kind of to say this is the st- this is their story these are still human beings um what they did if not excusable is understandable um uh, i think of there's, there's other stories in here there's a story of uh, a ship uh trapped in the ice and what the survivors and then lone survivor does to survive and that gets written down in a in a in a jur- in a journal uh and there's uh, Everett having a reaction to when the beetle shows up and he has a book and it's got all their names in it and it's got what they owe and it's got like what fish they think and he finds that kind of affronting that he, they they've been kind of reduced to the scratches on the page um and there is a lot of this book, which I think is an answer to that question, is, is like, is an answer to that question of like, okay, like account books, a dry journal, um, they can be things that can be used to kind of like judge as, as things to bash down, uh, people like Ada and Everett to look down on them, to sneer at them, to make fun of them. Um, and this is a novel that says, no, I'm going to, take you into their story and I'm going to let you be you immersed in them. And for all their uncomfortableness, you get to see their joy, their, their passion, um, them even coming to a realization at the end. Uh, and like, and not, not to find a judgment for them. I also think of their stories going on about the parents and maybe the, the circumstances of their, of their, their marriage, uh, that are known, locally which i mean to them is like it's outside the cove so it's still in the outside world but there's stories that are being told about their parents and it's a judgmental story and it's it's like a, it's a biblical story um in its way and you'll as soon as you see you see hear the circumstances you'll know exactly what biblical story that is but it's told from the outside looking at these people and poking at them and judging them and this is a story that is told inside of this and it's not excusing it it's not saying that it isn't wrong and it's not saying that yeah look look at the consequences of what they what what happens here but um it's that empathy thing it's like this is told within this story um so yeah if you're really not in the mood for a story of a brother and a sister in a in 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 a in 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 an incestuous relationship uh, this probably isn't the, the story for you, but if you want to actually kind of know what these inside, inside, um, and how valuable that is, uh, just as um, we're a society where we look out, we look at each other and we judge each other. I mean, we're on the internet right now and we judge each other. Um, and this isn't to say I'm, I'm gonna, I would let, you're letting people off. They're, they're real world. There's consequences, consequences for people outside of these two, which, you know, that has to be a part of the thing you, you, you know, um, but it's also to say there should be an argument for, uh, empathy. Uh, and if this book is anything, it is an argument for, uh, empathy and for wielding the word, the really well finely crafted word uh, in a way that's empathetic and brings you in 
versus distancing and shoving away and pointing and stoning and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, uh, in the end, a really, really powerful, really moving book, really well written. I'm going to definitely pick up more of Michael Crummy's work and give it a try. Uh, he took me to a place that I really didn't want to be, but was able to hold me there, which is a valuable thing in a writer. Um, and you know, your mileage may vary. There's, there's things that, you know, it's like, okay, something's too much for you. That is fine. <laughs> Don't even try it. That that's okay. But you know, if you, if you want to be pushed, this, this novel will push you and it isn't going to, isn't, isn't going to exploit these children characters, uh, in the process. I, I don't believe so at least. All right. That's my review of The Innocence by Michael Crummy. More videos later.